Hey everyone, welcome to another Stonehearth Desktop Tuesday. Now that Stonehearth Alpha 15 is on Steam Unstable, I want to call your attention to this eclectic set of buildings. Each of these is a building template that one of you uploaded to our discourse that didn't used to build in Alpha 14, but that now builds quite nicely in Alpha 15. As Chris mentioned a few weeks ago, interior stairs now work, as well as exterior stairs, porches, sheds, and walls that are spanned completely by windows or doors. This is a huge step forward for us, and we look forward to the structures that your hearthlings will be able to make now that all of these changes are in place. This week, Chris has still more building-related fixes for you, this time related to usability as opposed to correctness. If you load up Alpha 15 now and try to make a second story floor with, say, a hole in it for stairs, you'll see that the wall tool no longer automatically assumes that you want wall around that hole in addition to around the exterior walls. This is also true of roofs. Roofs will now only cover the area that you indicate instead of every open area on a floor. This is a fix we've been meaning to make for months now, so thank you for all of your patience, and three cheers to Chris for finally finding a way to make it happen. Chris has also made some important fixes to how floors and slabs work together. Previously, the floor of a building and the slabs attached to a floor would merge together into one large object, making it difficult for hardlings to figure out where to start. Now the building code keeps them as separate objects so that you will hopefully be less likely to encounter impossible situations when building fancy crenellations or buildings with densely packed columns. Coming at the usability of the building tool from another angle, we've also heard a lot of you say that it would be really useful to know if a building is stuck because you've run out of building materials. So we've taken the same logic that drives the counts and availability information in the crafter's workshop and ported it to the template UI and the building cost summary. We've still got more work to do here to make it really stand out, but at least if you see a stuck building, you can now easily check if it's because you need more stone or wood or something else. Finally, I wanted to give you a very early sneak peek of one of the last building-related features that Chris has been messing with recently. We've gotten lots of feedback that building would be so much easier if we could move or resize already placed items like walls and floors, or move windows. This is unfortunately a complex problem, but here's an early, very experimental stab that Chris has on a branch somewhere. Basically, if you put down a wall, you can click on it and then move it. You can see the design scope of the problem already. If you move a wall, should the roof follow? How about the other walls? What about the floor? What should happen to the decorations? This is a design problem that is very much out of scope for now, and we may yet decide to solve the problem in another way. But in the spirit of Desktop Tuesday, I thought you might like to see some of our progress down this path. And that's it for this week. Please keep playing the game on Steam Unstable, and let us know how it's going for you, either here or on our forums at discourse.stonehearth.net. 